Hello, True Believers. Time to do another review. And this time, it is the AC Milan, I want to say third kit. It's either away or third kit. All right, I'm sure somebody in the comments will let me know or correct me. But check this out. This is the full kit, complete with shorts and the crew de gras, the socks. Now, when I would watch football football highlights, especially Italian football, it's the Serie A League with, with Inter Milan and Juventus, I would see AC Milan play. And one thing I noticed was how clean their black kit looks like, or their, let's just say their third kit. And with the, mm -hmm. with the accents, the kind of the, it's in person. And when you watch it on, on TV or on YouTube, it's, it looks red, but in person, it's actually kind of an orangey, more bright red in person. So, you know me, I like me, my blacked out kits. And AC Milan has the, one of the cleanest blacked out kits, because sometimes the blacked out kits, they look too busy. But AC Milan is, did it right. So when I saw it, I go, oh, that black out, that blacked out kit looks pretty clean. I gotta, I gotta have me some black, the AC Milan blacked out kit. There, you can maybe argue their socks are a little busy, but it's busy in a good way. I still said, oh, that's, that's still good. So I said, gotta get it, hunted it down. I think this is from their actual website. They, all these, these teams have their own merchandising website now. So, so we can get it complete with the socks and the shorts. I know it's not usually a lot of teams just put out or a lot of stores just carry the jersey because you know, you're not going to find a lot of adults running around wearing the full kit unless they're playing for AC Milan. But for our purposes, we use it for soccer training. I mean, how are you supposed to play good if you don't look good? So why not? where one of your it could be your favorite team or not but as long as it looks good i mean the, the team could be crap but as long as your kit looks good i'll i'll get it so this one looks good so let's focus on the jersey itself because that's where all the action is happening and i didn't notice but all right, hold on i gotta take a second take here okay sorry i had to cut the video there in the middle because Normally, I usually like to take these to do these reviews with one take because I hate editing. But I was so excited about doing this review that I all of a sudden the the in the middle of the excitement, the urge hit me like a ton of bricks. So I had to answer Mother Nature's call. But anyway, I uh, I decided to finally do this review because I want here to wear it. I mean, at first we were kind of reluctant to wearing it because. It's it's definitely gonna get attention, and he's at that point where like he wants attention, but not too much attention. But I said, well, it's I think it's time. It's I think we're we're far enough along the training that you can wear this and just enjoy the attention that you're gonna be getting from it because it is a very clean kit. I mean, you're this is not something, this third kit is not something that you're gonna see too often. So when people see it in person, they're gonna notice it. So, especially since it's a blacked out kit, but what you're not gonna notice that I noticed on TV is this little design. You can see there's like this AC Milan design on it. So let's first take a look at the AC Milan stripes going across with the Puma. And then the sponsor logo, which is very done nicely. It's very clean. It's not busy. It doesn't look like crap. Like like Chelsea's like three. It looks like the, the three on it. I don't even know what that hell three is for some of these sponsors. It's just the three. But this one, at least, you know, it's AC Milan. It's Puma. Their, their Puma logo. And then you got the sponsor logo, which is like they own... They own most of the, they own all the teams now, so that's what's kind of a bad thing about football right now. There's only one owner, but anyway, let's 
let's focus on the jersey here. So that's that's what's clean about it. The collar is simple, not too much, not anything exciting. It's just that it's just a simple black design with the little lo these this kind of discrete logo on it. I didn't notice it when I was on TV. It was just because it's you, you can only notice it when you're up close like this under the right light. So over here we got the authenticity numbers here. It says license, authentic license of football. And I guess this is what Puma calls a dry cell. It sounds like a battery, but anyway, that's their that's what they call their material. There's like dry fit and climate cool for Adidas and Nike, but for Puma it's dry cell. So let's look at the sleeve over here. I don't really have too many patches, it looks like. I mean, you can always order patches, but I said, nah, let's not. And over here, we've got the, the Puma, which is actually embroidered, not ironed on or vinyl. So that's pretty good. But this part, this one right here, this one's vinyl. So it has the potential for it to be washed off or peeled off. Same thing as this. But anyway, that's usually, if it's a good, if they do it in a good way, then it's not going to be a, much of a problem. Over here, we got... Bitmex, you got the, the sun shining right through it. You know what time of the morning it is when you've got the sun this low on the horizon. So, and then this, it's got the Puma logo also on it, and this one's embroidered also. Or, you know, I think it's a patch. Let me take a look over here. It's probably a patch, if it's a patch or not. Yeah, it's a patch, as you can see. Oh, wait. Yeah, it is embroidered. My bad. Somebody let me know. Yeah, it's it's embroidered. See, it's, so it is embroidered, not a patch. And there's this like little black stripe over here, like accent. You can you, you can't tell it from a distance. You can only see it from close. And it's in a U.S. medium. I was worried whether to get a larger or not, but I think the medium fits him just good, right? Just fine, right now. So that's what it looks like in the front. And you already see the logo in it. It's just, there's a design on it. And then let's take a look at the back. So the back is pretty basic. It doesn't have the, the so you can see it doesn't have the design on it on the back. It just becomes plain black. And over here you got the AC Milan crest and just the design over here on the sleeves. You'll just notice it's just this, this discreet black stripe going across. Would it have been better if it was the orange? Mm, maybe to kind of make it stand out a little bit more because you could hardly notice it. I mean, if you look at it, you hardly notice it. So it would it have been better if it was this stripe? I don't know. I would have to do a test sample. Give me that stripe over there and then maybe, maybe just maybe, but it looks clean the way it is now. So I have no problem with it. I guess it's just the, it's best to err on the simpler, cleaner look versus just at, just making this, this bright orange, crimson red. So that's what the back looks like. There's nothing else. There's no numbers or authenticity. So the next thing we want to get to is the shorts. Now the shorts is just plain black and it has the crest on it over here. And then the Puma logo. That's it. There's nothing to it. Would I wish that they put this design on it? Maybe. But it looks just, I mean, from the back, <laughs> it, it looks just fine because it doesn't have the design. But the front, maybe. And over here, it just has dry cell. And it has a string, drawstring cord to, to tighten it up. And it's in medium. As you can see, men's medium. And there's nothing else to it other than that. Just plain black with the crest, no other design on it. And is there anything? So this just this has a more breathable fabric here inside in the inseam. On the sides, there's nothing. So that's, so it's, it's pretty plain as plain can be, which is fine. It goes well to go with the black, black on black. So let me turn this around. Hee, I got the sun right on my back, which is which is good for your camera. For your camera work, you always want to have the light behind you, but it's baking my back having the sun right on it. 
Hero, can you turn on the fan so I can have some circulation here because it's hot. Next is the socks. So the socks is got, is got some action in it because it's got not only one stripe, not two stripe, three, I've got four stripes and it's got AC Milan on it and a fifth stripe. So that's a lot of stripes. So over here in the back, you'll have the Puma logo, but you got all the stripes on it. This part over here, you're not gonna see. Oh, wait, maybe you can. Depends on, it depends on your football boot. If you have a collar, then you might not see it. But if it's low profile, low cut, then you probably will see it. But we'll take a look since we're gonna be wearing it for the first time. Same thing here to the other pair. So, I mean, you might as well go all the way and complete the look. I mean, you can, you can go with just the jersey and then wear different shorts, but most likely you wear black shorts, then you might as well get the matching shorts with it since you're gonna be getting it anyway. And it's coming all the way from Italy. So you might as well get the shorts. So, cause you're gonna be wearing plain black shorts with it anyway, unless you wanna wear white, but most likely you're gonna wear black, then you might as well get the matching shorts. And if you get the matching shorts, then go, don't go half ass and go all the way and get the matching socks anyway just to go ahead and complete the look if you don't you're going to be scratching your head and that's always going to be bothering you and they're like why didn't i get the socks even though it's not that common <laughs> you hardly see people wearing it complete but since we're since this is our style this is how we do it we might as well make it complete Anyway, so that's the review. We'll have Hero model it right now because this is what we're going to be using for today's training. So enjoy the rest of the video. This is belt only. Okay, so here's the complete kit. Hero is wearing it and size medium. As you can see, it fits him perfectly. Fits him perfectly around the sleeves. Not too tight, not too loose, not too tight. Well, it is a little bit on the... But it's, it's, it's perfect. And medium is actually a perfect size for him. Now, I, if it might grow a little bit bigger, it's going to be a little bit tighter, but it's okay. It fits him perfectly now in medium. So his measurements are 5'10", his chest is 41, waist is 32. So eventually it'll be like 42, 32, as Arnold would say. It's the proportions. And so he's got the shirt, he's got the shorts, and uh, he, he got hit in the knee in the last practice, so he's wearing his knee pads. So it's not really, it might look like it's leggings, but it's it's not. See? So you can see his wheels there. So he's wearing it. So if you lift up your leg, you can see that it's just not, it's just the knee pads. So you want to do, so you want to just wear his knee pads for extra protection because he got, because he's got his shin guards over here, but there was a part over here we got, he got hit. So now he wanted to wear it. So he's got full protection. So that's what the socks look like with the shorts. And we'll see it in action today but let's go ahead and turn slowly to the side you'll see this the, the puma logo and the crest lift up your hand a little bit you can see the sides there's nothing really going on but that's what the black dot look is supposed to look like you got but you'll definitely see the stripes on the socks as you can see and in the back there's really nothing to see other than the crest and Keep going, keep going. So that's what it looks like with the socks. And this is just to show you that how it fits on Hero here. So go ahead and let's take a look at the, you'll, you'll see it more in action when we take it to practice today. So that's what it looks like. So you can see the logo. I like the AC Milan in front. A lot of, a, a lot of jerseys these days, I have no idea what team it is if, if you're not familiar and you can't see the crest from a mile away or you're not familiar with the colors, at least this one you'll see right away, especially when they come out with new kids. It's like, oh, okay, I know this is this, which team this is because it says right across, AC Milan. So that's kind of one of the unique things you, you hardly don't see these days is the actual team name in front. Usually you'll just see the sponsor logo and just a little tiny crest. But this one is one of the unique ones where they, they actually has, has the team name. So that's what it looks like. You can barely see the design, but from a distance, it will just look like all black to you. But 
would they actually have the design would it have been better if they included in the shorts also maybe but it's fine the way it is when i saw it when you're looking at it from a distance you won't even notice it anyway we got to get to practice so i got to cut this review this modeling short you'll see more of it when in during training day anyway that completes today's review this is bev's only thanks for watching